Multiply with six. Practice. Let's use a model for the other six times facts. This model helps you picture the products in tens and ones. Let's try six times six. You know that five times six is thirty. Now add a group of six. Thirty plus six is thirty-six. So six times six is thirty-six. Six groups of seven looks hard to find. Remember that five times seven is thirty-five. Add one more group of seven. Thirty-five plus seven is forty-two. So six times seven is forty-two. How about six times eight? Remember that five times eight is forty. Add one more group of eight. Forty plus eight is forty-eight. So six times eight is forty-eight. Now try six times nine. Five times nine is forty-five. Add one more group of nine. Forty-five plus nine is fifty-four. So six times nine is fifty-four. Six times ten? That's the easy one. Six groups of ten is sixty. See, the five times facts can be helpful to figuring out the six times facts.